Hello there and welcome to the next edition of The Wealthy Walker. My name is Tom, thanks for stopping by to check out this channel where I'll be talking all things stocks, investing, finance, pretty much anything that's going to help you and I get wealthy faster and enable us to retire at an earlier age. That's the plan for me anyway, that's the goal. Uh, so this channel is all about just helping other people really. So yeah, let's make a start. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in me talking about stocks and all things finance um, whilst on a walk, on a stroll, then do of course click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel and you know, let us know your thoughts in the comments as well. Cheers. Now of course, a little disclaimer, all the information that I'm sharing with you today is just for fun. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not uh, qualified to give you financial advice. So of course, always do your research before making any financial decisions. Don't just take my advice or some other YouTuber. Okay, so I'm currently buying and selling individual stocks on Trading 212, but I'm also investing in index funds. And I'm gonna be doing that from now on through Vanguard. Now I originally signed up to Moneybox. Um, they're the reason why I got started in investing in the first place. And I'm gonna to explain to you in this video why I'm leaving Moneybox and moving to Vanguard. Okay, so let's set the scene. I first got started with Moneybox uh, in January 2021. And I'm not gonna lie, I fell for one of their adverts I'd seen online. And I just felt like it was time that I started to grow up and save some money. And more importantly, invest some money for my future. So I downloaded the app straight away. It was really easy to use and to set up. And I got started with their Stocks and Shares ISA account. So yeah, there I was on the Moneybox app. And I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed my initial experience. It got me interested in how I could save more money through their application. You know, little things like roundups and payday boosts and all these kind of little tips and tricks from them that was gonna help me save more money each month and it really inspired me. So I decided to uh, dig a little deeper and I went onto their discovery section on the application and it showed me how much potentially I could be saving over a you know, 10 year period. That was really exciting. And in all honesty, it just got me wanting to invest and save more and more and more. So naturally I started to look for ways that I could potentially invest more, save more, and uh, you know, earn more over time for investing. And this kind of led me down the path of you know, the problems with Moneybox really, and uh, as to why I'm leaving them. Okay, so there's three reasons predominantly why I'm leaving Moneybox. Uh, the first one is fees. The second one is to do with uh, the time it takes to invest your money. And the third one is just lack of options. Okay, so let's just touch on fees for a minute. Now, one thing I learned after joining Moneybox was, you know, whilst their fees don't seem too high, you know, when you're just getting started with investing and using their application, I mean, they're asking for like a pound a month um, and a very, very small percentage per year from your investments. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you start to look into other options like Vanguard, you start to realize that there are much cheaper alternatives out there. And that's where Moneybox falls short for me because, you know, they're telling me how I can save more money, but they are charging me, you know, more than all the other alternatives out there. And now I know how I can save more money through little tips and tricks. Why not save those little extra percentages elsewhere? So yes, yeah, so that's the first reason why I'm leaving Moneybox. It's just the fees. It's not a lot of money, but over time, it will be quite a bit of money. Okay, so reason number two. Now, when you've just got started investing and you're saving money, you're just so eager to get going. The last thing you wanna do is you know, sit around waiting to invest your cash. And that's kind of where Moneybox has an issue because they have like a, I think it's a two week period where they, first of all, they, tell you that they're depositing the money from you but then it takes them about a week to get the money off you and then it takes another week before it's actually settled into one of their funds now they're not the exact time frames I will write those down in the description but basically it, 
I don't want to wait two weeks to invest my money. I want to be getting stock shares in, you know, index funds, that kind of thing right now, if I can, if I can. And if I can't, then at least give me a two, three day turnaround. Don't keep me waiting two weeks because every time you deposit money, you're going to have to keep waiting two weeks for it to get invested. So for me, thanks Moneybox, but I will be leaving because I don't want to wait two weeks every time I deposit for it to be invested. And that takes me on to the third reason. And the third reason why I'm leaving Moneybox is because of the lack of options. Now, when I got started with Moneybox, they offered me three different options for where I wanted to invest my money. And it seemed pretty exciting. Like I was like, okay, this looks cool. I mean, you're gonna have little bits of shares in, in so many different companies and that sounds awesome. But when you look at the likes of Vanguard, there's just so many more options out there. You know, they have, they have over 70 of their own products available to you and it just gives you you know, you can do a bit of research and find what, what suits your needs, whereas three options with Moneybox is just a bit stingy for me. So whilst I'm all for index funds and I'll be investing in those via Vanguard, I will have a lot more options to pick from. And it's not gonna leave me with just three like Moneybox. At the same time, you know, with trading two on two, I'm gonna be investing in individual stocks and shares as well. And that excites me because I can then choose the companies that I know, like, and trust. I can pick a few of the random ones that I'm not too aware of, but I've heard good things about. And I can basically do my research and invest in those companies. Whereas right now, uh, with Moneybox, you kind of just stuck with what you're given, really. So there you have it, guys. There's your three reasons why I've decided to leave Moneybox and move to Vanguard. Now, if Moneybox is for you and you aren't really bothered about options and you don't mind your money taking time to invest, if you're happy with their service, I mean, they've got great customer service. They reply to messages really quickly. Um, and it is good fun. Like, I like the app. It's really easy to use. You know, and I would really recommend Moneybox if you're not too bothered about your investing input, you know, whether or not you want to have more say in where your money goes. Okay guys, so that brings today's video to a close. Of course, if you are new to the channel and you've enjoyed this walk today, talking about Moneybox and all things finance, investing, then do of course click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate your support along the way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next walk.